Winning the Champions League is like completing a super tough mission, but some incredible people went beyond that, they conquered it twice, first as players and then as managers. It's like being a champion in the game and then becoming a champion in charge. Let's unravel these legends. Starting with Pep Guardiola, what a legend. When he played for Barcelona in 1992, he helped his team win the European Cup. It was a big deal and he was a key player alongside other amazing talents like Koeman, Laudrup and Stoichkov. But guess what? Pep didn't stop there. As a manager, he even did his mentor Cruyff. More on him in a few seconds. But in just four seasons, he led Barcelona to win the Champions League not once, but twice. And here's the cherry on top. He defeated the legendary Sir Alex Ferguson in both the 2009 and 2011 finals. Isn't that super impressive? Similarly, in the 2002 Champions League final, Zidane showed his brilliance by scoring an amazing volley to secure a 2-1 victory for Real Madrid against Bayer Leverkusen. It was an unforgettable moment that showcased his mesmerizing skill on the field. But Zidane didn't stop there. When he went on to become a manager, he achieved something truly historic. He became the first manager ever to defend the Champions League title, not just once, but three times in a row, in 2016, 17 and 18. That's an incredible achievement that solidifies his status as a legend of the game. But there is someone who's even surpassed Zizou. Back in the late 1980s, Carlo Ancelotti was a crucial player for AC Milan and together with teammates, they won the Champions League twice in a row in 1989 and 1990. Fast forward to his managerial career and Ancelotti continued to make history. He led Milan to triumph in 2003 and 2007 and then achieved another incredible victory with Real Madrid in 2014. But the story still doesn't end there. In 2022, Ancelotti guided Real Madrid to yet another Champions League win, this time against Liverpool. This remarkable victory made him the outright leader in terms of titles won as a manager. Ancelotti's legacy as both player and manager is true Truly extraordinary. Speaking of Madrid, did you know about Miguel Munoz? Madridistas, does it ring a bell? Back in the 1950s, he played for the team and led them to three Champions League wins in a row as their captain. He won in 1956, 57 and 58. And there's more. After retiring as a player, Munoz became the coach of Real Madrid and achieved something incredible. He guided the team to European glory once again, winning the Champions League in 1960 and 1966. Munoz made history as the first person ever to accomplish this double feat of winning the Champions League both as a player and as a manager. Now coming back to Johan Cruyff, the Majestic. He was so good that he won the prestigious Ballon d'Or three times. As a player, he achieved something amazing. Playing for Ajax, he helped his team win the European Cup not just once, but three times in a row. After retiring from playing at the age of 30, Cruyff didn't stay away from the game for very long. He became a manager and worked his magic with Barcelona. In 1992, he led Barca to a fantastic victory in the European Cup. Well, we can say that Cruyff the master passed on his wisdom and knowledge to his apprentice Guardiola and both did the unimaginable. Another remarkable individual who has achieved this prestigious honor is Frank Reichardt. And the unique aspect about him is that he made history by becoming the first person to win the Champions League with two different clubs, both as a player and as a manager. Reichardt had a successful career on the pitch, winning two Champions League titles alongside Ancelotti at AC Milan in 1989 and 1990. Later, he returned to Ajax and led them to victory in the 1995 final against his former club, AC Milan. As a manager, Reichardt showcased his tactical prowess by beating Arsene Wenger's Arsenal in the 2006 Champions League final. Lastly, Giovanni Trapattoni, who is famously known as Trap or Il Trap. He holds a special place in football history. As a former player and manager for Italy, Trapattoni achieved something remarkable. During his playing days, Trapattoni won two European Cup titles with AC Milan in 1963 and 1969 before retiring in 72. Then, as a manager, he guided Juventus to victory in the European Cup in 1985. It was a bittersweet triumph as the final took place amid tragic scenes at Heisel Stadium, but Trapattoni's team emerged victorious with a 1-0 win. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.